All right, man, I want y'all to go check out my boy Dame J, new album, No Regrets. And I'm telling you, this brother got 10 straight bangers on here. Not a filler song. Upper echelon engineering, production. Obviously, he got the bars. Definitely a, a banging album right here. You don't want to miss out on this. One of the best underground albums I heard. So go check out his new album as soon as possible. I put the Apple and Tidal links in the description, but it's on all streaming platforms. Go check out my boy Dame J. You won't be disappointed. Peace. All right, Dojo Cat has broken her silence on some of the backlash for some old tweets and videos that surface that have people saying that she's a self-hating uh, mixed black woman. So let's talk about it. We back. Good Fellow Sports TV. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Best donation you can make is to share the video and check out our music entertainment playlist for more videos like this. So she put a, a, a statement out there, and I'll read it in a minute. And basically, she didn't deny it from what I read at first. That she did it, so I don't know if she gonna try to claim the parody or, or cry wolf, where people gonna forgive her. You know, black people cancel you one day, and then next day they wearing Gucci and Prada, and they shopping at H and M again. So, you know, she probably temporarily canceled. But um, yeah, I was waiting on this statement. It took like it can't. It took too long to happen. I thought she, I think she thought it was gonna blow over, and it didn't blow over like that. Especially during the quarantine when people, most people ain't got much to do. Unless, you know, your stay at home order have been lifted. And she said, I want to address what's been happening on Twitter. I use uh, public chat rooms to socialize since I was a ch since I was a child. I shouldn't have been on some of those chat room uh, sites, but I personally have never been involved in any racist conversations. I'm sorry to everyone that I offended. I'm a black woman. Half of my family is black from South Africa. And I'm very proud of where I come from. As for the old song that was resurfaced, it was in no way t uh, tied to anything outside of my own personal experience. It was written in in response to people who I often use that uh, term to hurt me. I made an attempt to flip it, meaning, but I mean, his meaning, excuse me, but recognized that it was a bad decision to use the term in my music i understand my influence and impact i'm i'm taking this all very seriously i love you all and i'm sorry for upsetting or hurting any of you that's not my character and i'm uh, determined to show that to everybody moving forward thank you sorry i'm not on my computer so i'm reading the small print so um it's either you forgive her or don't man and you know, she, you know, she has never really flown her black side, her black side to my knowledge. And I'm not a crazy Dojo Cat fan, but I do think she is a beautiful woman. And I do like the Moose song. That's how I met her. Right. That's how I was introduced to her. But um, everybody say people should deserve second chances. But, you know, this happens a lot. Josh Allen, the quarterback for the Bills, some racist tweets resurfaced. Kevin Hart still talking about some uh, racial uh, some uh, homophobic tweets he did years ago. So, you know, a lot of social media is changing the game. You know, adolescence is no longer an excuse or it's not going to be an excuse uh, for making bad decisions. Racism is not something you're born with. It's something that you learn. And, you know, she said she tried to flip it. It just sounded like she trying to kind of do a patchwork job. Now, did she write this? I could believe she wrote this statement. It wasn't a whole bunch of big words and fancy statements. And this came from the heart. So be it. But they're going to forget this even happened to, to begin with. I just didn't like how long it took for her to, to come out and say this. But she did it in her due time. But um, still not giving her a pass. All right. People know exactly what they're doing when they hurt you and they make these decisions. You know, I shouldn't have been in some of those chat rooms. And one thing I could respect is she owned up to it. She didn't say it wasn't real. She didn't say, oh, it was a fake tweet, this, that, and the third. She, she owned up to it. And one thing you got to respect somebody, especially a woman, because they always hate the middle when they're wrong. She owned up to it. So I'm not knocking nobody who forgive her and they just want to listen to her music because it's somebody you listening to right now. It's somebody you you look up to right now that that's racist or they support and doing some things you not you you don't, you know, pretty much say you're not cool with. Tiger Woods, he had this goody two boy shoe image and he was a terrible shitty person. But a lot of people wanted their kids to grow up and be Tiger Woods, you know, and it was a facade. You know, if she's truly sorry, she's truly sorry. She said, now she's telling, now, oh, half my, fam, half my family from South Africa. Well, where the hell this was at? 
beforehand. You know what I'm saying? People that's proud to be black, you know, they usually surround themselves with black people. And they don't surround themselves with questionable characters in the chat room and making fun of, of other uh, other people with racist jokes. You know, they don't have that tweet. Oh, I don't want to be black. It's depressing. Nah, those that's what we not gonna take back. As soon as they come from you, gonna be act come for you. They gonna you gonna be asked for our protection. But you know what? Nobody wants to be black when the time is to be black is is on a uh, on the clock. So she ain't getting no pass from me. But you know, some people may give her a pass. Say she deserves a second chance. Me personally, I ain't never been a huge fan. I just thought she was she was just like banging. You know what I'm saying? But she had you no know, move song. It's the only song I really know by. Her. But it is what it is. It's your choice to forgive. I'm not going to say, I ain't fuck with you. Delete me or unsubscribe to me if you support Dojo Cat. It's not that deep to me, um, you know, to that point. But, hey, it is what it is. She got to live with that. And that's the problem that people got to understand. When you send new pictures and you do sex tapes and you do shit like this, it's on the Internet forever. So the youth should learn from this. But, hey, it's Good Fella Sports TV. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, inquiry, responsive, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel. Cash at PayPal description. Best way to donate. Share the video. Twitter's the fastest way to get in touch with me. Let me know what you guys think about Dojo Cat Apology. You accept it. You don't care. You neutral on it. Or you like, hell no. Nah. One time for the one time we gone.